what is going on and in today's video I picked up these Exaglow LED RGB Demon Eye headlight bulbs. Now for a while I have wanted to upgrade the Stratus' lighting and um, I'm not a fan of putting um, HIDs in just normal halogen housings. I would rather have a like nice retrofit and um, I never really got around to uh, having anyone do that. Um, and I also really like LEDs. So when these came out, um, I had to grab them because I really wanted that like accent lighting. So um, the install should be very oh. the install should be fairly straightforward. And um, this is the uh, current lighting on the Stratus. That is the uh, they're hella halogen bulbs. I cannot remember what watt they are. Um, the bumper's already off the car. And uh, as you can see, those are um, Cobb LED fog lights. They're a nice, really white, bluish tint. And the normal halogens just kind of don't go with that. So the first thing we're going to do is open up that kit and uh, see everything it came with. All right, so this is the XK glow LED RGB demon headlight kit this is uh, 9007 for the Stratus and they have tons of different ones for different cars and motorcycles trucks whatnot so let's open it up we got instructions and my invoice some bubble wrap um, this is ah, this is um This is the uh, power switch for the Demon Eye kit. This is the uh, Bluetooth controller for the app. There's some mounting hardware and zip ties. And this is what the kit is about. Wires, wires, wires. And uh, we'll pull one bulb out. Has the protective coating on it. It's got the little fan in the back. Nice, compact. And uh, as you can see, there's the cob LED, and right below it, there's a little silver. Let me uh, slide this up a little bit. Right below it, that little silver LED is the RGB. Um, so the bulbs themselves should go in fairly simple. They just kind of. Uh, let me see if I can get one of these open. Your uh, factory socket plugs in there. It's got its driver, and then it plugs into the bulb. And then you have all these. Uh, ribbon cable here to run and hide uh, to hook up to the uh, Bluetooth controller guy here. So that we got to tuck away somewhere and uh, tuck this power switch somewhere where it can be turned on and off and uh, there's your uh, battery hookups. Got the bumper off just because on my car it might make it easier to uh, hide those wires. And uh, don't think I got to uh, remove the headlights. Um, <clears throat> right back down in here, there is the uh, headlight socket. So, and then the other one is right in the same spot, right down in there. And as you can see, I tucked a lot of the wires, you know, out of the way. So I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, drivers and stuff. So, fairly simple. We can uh, unclip this. There's our plug. There's our lock ring. And there is the uh, passenger bulb. Set this down carefully. Now, uh, one of these has a longer ribbon cable than the other for the passenger side. So let me uh, pull that out. And so I was actually super concerned for a moment because I was trying to figure out how this lock ring got onto the bulb. And um, this actually twists and locks on there. So we can put this guy in and it'll fit over nicely. And then um, line up our locks here. Oh, that's upside down. 
but yeah, so now we're locked on there. So now I can uh, stick this in the car. The first one's in, and uh, I tucked all the wiring out of the way. The, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, driver's up under here, underneath the uh, metal headlight you know, box. And uh, all the wires tucked up along above the radiator for the RGB. And then this is what's left. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to put it maybe somewhere down by the air filter and stuff out of the way. Or maybe just like right here. Because here's power. Here's a ground. And um, as far as uh, the controller goes, I mean, it's all sealed. And uh, there's the plug leads. This little wire here, I'm just going to cap off for now. Apparently you can hook it up to run like off a brake light or something else. So it defaults as soon as it gets a 12 volt signal. And then uh, this is like your power switch. But as you can see, it's not very long. So that's not really going to reach into the cabin anywhere where I can hide it. So that's going to kind of suck. So, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with this, and uh, now i got to put the uh, driver headlight in. Headlights are in. This is the controller for the uh, Demon Eye, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and here's a switch to disable it. Now, in the, in the instructions, it just says to connect to power on and off, but uh, on the battery. But the um, button to uh, disable the controller is not all that long. So, sorry for the ding, the door's open. That's uh, some pretty bright light. There's the fog lights. There's the high beam. So, uh, let me show you here real quick what we did. And uh, there's the fixed fog light. They are really nice and bright. Um, I got the beam pretty pretty good. The camera is kind of focusing and making it look all weird, adjusting. And uh, it's for the Demon Eye in my uh, little center console here. I uh, got a switch here for that front red LED. And uh, so now when I turn on the front LED, the headlights come on as well. And uh, I don't know if I said this, but the uh, X Glow Chrome app little thing here is um, really small in size. So I'm gonna turn on my Bluetooth for it to actually work. But uh, here we go. So what I think I'm gonna do is uh, I think I'm gonna film some of this at night. And uh, so that way you guys can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Got a little demon strobe going on there. Some little party modes. Got the uh, police. Got hazard. Got some like other ones. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, I like it. I mean, I'm not going to drive around really with this on. It's just going to be kind of something for meats, stuff like that. Um, just something to be kind of different, something kind of cool to make the car stand out. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, fairly easy install. Um, like I said, the only thing that I had a problem with is the switch wasn't long enough. So luckily I already had one up there for the front LED little bar thing. So I just used that because uh, I figured I'm going to turn them on at the same time. But um, I really like the RGB, a uh, little demon LED function or whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm going to have some fun with that once it gets dark. So like and subscribe. Until next time.